هنگامی که جنگ هشت ساله عراق بر علیه کشورمان به پایان رسید اف چهارده ها ارزش خود را نمایان کرده بودند حضور اف چهارده ها و قفل راداریان ها به تنهایی هزاران مأموریت هوایی عراق را ناکام کرد از درگیری هایی که منجر به سرنگونی هواپیما های عراقی شده است آمار دقیقی وجود ندارد بعضی منابع غربی سرنگونی 250 پرنده عراقی را به F14 ها نسبت می‌دهند اما نیروی هوایی این رقم را قبول ندارد ما به قول معروف اسپسیفیکلی به صلاح مخصوصا به این موضوع نپرداختیم یعنی اینکه بریم دقیقا به این موضوع بپردازیم نپرداختیم ولی تا اونجایی که من می‌دونم 260 فروند هواپیمای عراقی افتاده و بخش عمده درست افتادنشون رو خلبانای اف 14 زدن نه برای خاطر اینکه من خلبانم این حرفو بزنم برای اینکه خلبانای اف 14 ما هم یه اف 14 میگیم و میگذریم ولی وقتی جنگ شروع شد در شش نقطه کشور مرز کشور خلبانای اف 14 شروع کردن پرواز کردن 24 ساعته تام کوپر محقق و نویسنده اتریشی که درباره نبردهای هوایی در خاورمیانه تحقیق می کند، آمار دیگری از شکارهای F14 روایت می کند. I know there are around 155 claims for Iraqi aircraft shot down by Iranian F14s. Uh, and as far as I know, between 60 and 80 of these should have serious backgrounds. That means that they probably are based on serious uh, in engagements in terms of weapons being fired and something being hit, better damaged or shut down. From the, from the, from the official Iraqi documentation, I know that uh, the Iraqi Air Force concluded that it has, uh, it has lost 180 and two combat aircraft during the war with Iran to combat-related causes. That means these are aircraft that were either shot down or written off after uh, returning to their air bases due to, due to combat damage. There is also a number of at least 20, if not more, Iraqi combat aircraft that were lost under unknown circumstances. When we take away the aircraft, Iraqi combat aircraft, which you know were shot down by other means, but Iranian F-14s, there is a space of around 100 Iraqi losses which occurred under unknown circumstances, for Iraqis under unknown circumstances. Sadly, in many cases, circumstances remain unknown for Iranians as well. Pilot and Rayo would do their task as trained. They would fire their Phoenix missile, this would thunder away, and uh, all means they had to, in order left to track what is going on, there are a clock showing the time to impact, and their radar screens. So. Often there was no, nothing else, no other sign of the missile hitting its target, but uh, the target disappearing from the, from, the, from the screen, from the display in front of the pilot and the, and the RIO. Under such circumstances, very often the Iranian Air Force obviously did not confirm a kill. <laughs> 